Finally, we are down to the last method of dividing polynomials. And this method is called the synthetic division. Uh, when do we use synthetic division? This is a shortcut method, no? but it is only useful when the divisor is a binomial of first degree, meaning an, uh, the, the exponent of the variable is only limited to one. So our divisor should be of the form x minus k, where k is a real number. So how do we do the synthetic division? We shall illustrate this one in the next example. Okay, so we shall divide 5x squared minus 3x minus 36 by x minus 3 using synthetic division. Okay, so what are the steps involved in synthetic division? First, make sure that your dividend is written in standard form, right? meaning that the term should be written in decreasing degree. Like for this example, 5x squared minus 3x minus 36 is already in standard form since uh, it's already written in decreasing degree order. Okay, so what do we need to do first? Uh, when it's already written in standard form, we shall write the coefficients. Okay, so the coefficients are 5, uh, negative 3, and negative 36, right? So we shall write them one by one, separated by space, first 5, negative 3, negative 36. And then we uh, look at the value of k, right? Our divisor is in the form x minus k, right? So we have x minus 3. If we look at this one, we can actually, it's obvious, right, that k is equal to positive 3, okay? So, the value of k will be written in this portion of your solution. Right there, enclose or uh, written with a semi box right there. Okay. The first step in synthetic division is to bring down the first coefficient. Okay, we shall bring down 5. And then this coefficient or this number will be multiplied to the k. So that's 5 times 3 and it will be written on the second coefficient below the second coefficient okay so that's 15 the next we need to add right so negative 3 plus 15 is positive 12 and then we repeat the process we multiply this number to k so that's 12 times 3 that's positive 36 and then we add negative 36 plus positive 36 is zero and this is our last number the last number that you see here is the remainder okay so this is the remainder in this particular example the remainder is zero right that means that x minus 3 is a factor of 5x squared minus 3x minus 36 okay but we will talk more about the remainder theorem and the factor theorem uh, later in our polynomial function Okay. But how do we write our final answer in this one? Okay, so our answer is 5 and then 12. Remember the, co the, the, the quotient of these two polynomials should be 1 less than the degree. The degree of the quotient should be 1 less than the dividend. Okay. So in this case, the dividend has a degree of 2 right? because of the exponent 2. Now our quotient, the quotient should be one degree less than the dividend, okay? So if the degree is two, then the degree of our answer should be one. In this case, this is five x plus 12. Okay, so this is our answer for this particular example. Another problem is posed on the screen we shall write this one or solve this one using synthetic division, okay? So we will follow the same process as our previous example, okay? First, we look at our dividend and see to it that it is written in standard form, okay? We have x cubed, x squared, x, and then a constant term. So it's already written in standard form. And then 
Next, we shall write the we shall write the coefficients. Uh, we have four, ten, negative six, and negative twenty. And then next, we shall determine the value of k. In this case, we have x plus two. Remember, our divisor should be of the form x minus k. Uh, in this case, we have plus. If this is the case, the value of k is negative. So therefore, k is equal to negative 2. Okay, so we shall write the negative 2 in this portion and then we shall start the synthetic division by bringing down this coefficient 4. Okay, multiply, that's negative 8. And then add, that's positive 2. Multiply again, that's negative 4. Add, that's negative 10. Multiply, that's positive 20, and then add 0. Okay, so our remainder, the remainder is 0. Then we shall write the, co the quotient. Remember, the quotient should be 1 degree less than our dividend. So since our dividend has a degree of 3, our quotient should have a degree of 2. So our quotient is 4x squared plus 2x minus 10. And finally, we are down to our last example on module 1.3. Okay, so we shall solve this one using synthetic division. Okay, first, let us look at the dividend. We have x raised to 4, x raised to 3, x raised to 2. And then we have a missing term here. And the term with an x is missing. So we shall uh, take into account the missing uh, term of the dividend then we have the constant term negative six okay. so we shall write the coefficients of the dividend we have negative nine positive ten positive seven and then since we do not have any uh, x term here we shall write zero and then negative six the value of k is one then we now perform the synthetic division, bring down negative 9, multiply, that's negative 9, add, that's positive 1, multiply, that's 1, add, that's 8, multiply again, that's 8, and then add, that's 8, 8 times 1, that's 8, and then we need to add, that's 2, the remainder is 2, okay, this is the remainder. Now we write our quotient. 1 degree less than the dividend, so we have not negative 9 x cubed plus that's 1 x squared or simply x squared plus this is 8 x then plus 8 plus the remainder plus 2 divided by the divisor which is x minus 1. So this is our final answer for this problem. Okay, so this one is our last example you know, in synthetic division. This is another case. If you look at this one, the divisor is not of the form x minus k. Right, so we have a coefficient of x already here. We have coefficient of 2, right? So remember that the synthetic division can only be used when the divisor is of the form x minus k. Right, that is why we need to write our divisor in the form x minus k. So how do we do that? Okay, we shall we shall rewrite the divisor. We just copy the numerator for x cubed minus 8x squared minus x plus 5. But but we need to rewrite the divisor. We need to rewrite the divisor such that it's of the form x minus k. To do that, we need to bring out 2 and say x what do we need to multiply by 2 to get 1 that's like uh, 1 half right if you multiply 2 by x and then 2 times negative 1 half you will go back to the original device or that means 2x minus 1 can also be written in this form right so we have a term here or we have a factor here in the form x minus k so what do we do next is 
uh, we do the synthetic division but instead of uh, dividing we, we will disregard two at the moment okay we shall divide the numerator by x minus one half a being one half okay so we shall do that using synthetic division so we shall write the coefficients of the numerator so we have four negative eight negative one positive five and the value of k is negative uh, since this is x minus one half so the value of k is positive one half okay we shall do the synthetic division now bring down the coefficient the first coefficient four and then we multiply four times one half that's two uh, we add that's negative six and then we multiply negative six times one half is a negative three right and then we add negative one plus negative three is negative four negative four times one half is negative two five plus negative two is three okay this is the answer when we divide 4x cubed minus 8x squared minus x plus 5 by x minus 1 half. Okay, so this is the remainder. The last number is the remainder. Okay, it shall stay as it is. But these coefficients here should be divided by 2. Okay, to take into account these two right here. Okay, so we divide by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Therefore, we shall write the quotient as 2x squared minus 3x minus 2, and then the remainder plus 3 over, uh, we can write this as 2x minus 1. Okay. So this is the final answer for this problem.